Well, I, I know the Pretenders have looked like a tribute band uh, for the last 20 years. And actually, they are a tribute, tribute band. And, and uh, we're paying tribute tonight to James Honeyman Scott and Pete Farndon, without whom we wouldn't be here. And on the other hand, without us, they might have been here. Um, but that's, uh, that's the way it works in rock and roll. How did you reconvene just the two Well, that was it. We, we were determined to just, you know, keep the thing moving. And uh, even Chrissy came to me and said, should we get Pete back in the band? I said, look, he's working with Topper from The Clash. Yeah, that was Eddie your well, let, that him, go? let him do that. Let mm. him get sorted out. So she was and desperately it, trying to keep some sort of semblance of the original sure. lineup. And I, my comment was, let's get him on the other side of his band. Let's let him, for his pride, for everything else, it could be great. Let him have his run. Because he was and, a great bass player. Yeah. A great looking guy, Pete. Huh. Great looking guy. You know, with the chewing gum at the front, with his heels on the front of the stage, looking at the audience and playing, you know, like this. You know. Yeah. Quiff. quiff yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a great guy. Funny. I mean, we're all funny. Yeah. Root of all evil humour. <laughs> so, you've got this new band, this new lineup. It came yeah. on quite a while there. Yeah, well, we did learn how to crawl. We we, we is... kind of started on that. We we did uh, again with Chris Thomas, fabulous producer, good good friend of mine. And and Chris, we made another great record, and uh, you know we made it to Madison Square Garden, and we did great. Mm. And then she had this brilliant idea; she'd get rid of me. Yeah, what did that? I've I'm glad you brought it up because I didn't want to say it. But you got to Madison Square Gardens. You've you've survived the death of you know two of your members and then you get to the pinnacle of Madison Square Garden which is a lot of people's pinnacle in, in music mm. and then you get the sack mm. well, why Got because she made a poor decision However, for her, it was the decision she had to make. Yeah. And I kind of got that some years later. So obviously, she had to do what she had to do. She wanted to take full control of the band, right. tenders and all that. And so the, she had to have just cause. So, of course, she's still saying it to this day that I was playing rubbish. I was playing better. So was it a, I, don't know, was it I was four, playing better than her. Was it a four-way split? Then it was down to a two-way split. And she, uh, surely it wasn't just down to money, was it? Well, she wanted to take control, not down to money, no, uh -huh. but of course the effect is she owns the entire thing. Yeah. And then she gets me back a couple of years later for... For, for the longest lineup. For a 30-year-old's wages. Really? Oh, that's not so good. So, you know, but, but, that was but I, I understand it. I wouldn't be able to work with Chrissy, and I've, we've had this conversation a small about it. You know, I understand it. I understand the route. I don't agree with it, and I don't agree with the way it was done. Uh, but... I understood it. Therefore, I still feel the love you feel for somebody that has that history with you, and yeah. and I'm still able to do it. Otherwise, I couldn't. Um, but but I, I don't agree with what was done or the way it was done. I definitely don't agree with the reasoning, because they always said I didn't play well. You look at anything, TV, anything, and you see if I was playing badly or not. The the stuff we were working on in the studio. It's been like that ever since. It's yeah. you know the odd song that's pretty good, and the rest of it's just. Because ironically, part Bath of that, water. most of the sound was down to the drums. The pretender sound was that drum. It's that, that, that it's that hook between her rhythm of yeah. the right hand and me. Yeah. And we can tie up and I can pull her back and put, you know, and that's what the sound of the, the basic rhythmical uh, structure of pretenders is about. It's, yeah. it's about Chris's right Everyone hand. Everyone knows that know. famous drum sound. Yeah, I, I have yeah, no that, idea which... what that means, but I just know when we get together, it sounds like it does. They've had various yeah. helpers through the years and. You know, uh, it's 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 unconscious. Of course, it's unconscious. Uh, the best drummers in the world don't know what they're doing. Mm. If they did, I wouldn't like them so much. It's when you just on that moment you decide that journey, hit that. That's called feel. I suppose it's, it's, it's something to be say. Oh, well, you got rid of me, but yeah, they got Jim Keltner in. Who they, you know, they get a every beautiful gets, player. Uh, yeah, My great God. player. But yeah, it's something to be say. You, you wouldn't be. You wouldn't mind being replaced by him if, if there's a reason. But there was other drummers as well, which, yeah. um, it, uh, but it never sounded like the Pretenders to me. Well, Blair Cunningham. This is it. From, like, from Haircut 100, not saying he was a bad drummer. Blair Cunningham. Uh, nice. Lovely guy. Yeah. Great player. Yeah. But it was no, Do you really want to smile through a song like Precious when you listen to the lyrics? Yeah. There was no drive anymore. God bless you, but completely wrong. No, that's right. And, uh, and it annoyed me because... 
to me, all I could see was more and more shit being piled on top of the name, and I didn't like that. But I had no control. And then over it. it comes to that great, well, that you inducted into the rock and roll of fame, and, and yeah. Chris's famous speech of yeah, uh, we've been a, a pretenders tribute band for the last twenty years. Yeah, I get it. Uh, I think she meant that when she said that, you know. Oh, certainly, because you, you know? can't you can't erase Jim and Pete. It's it's. Well, did she say that? Yeah, you know, without them, we wouldn't be here. Um, but without you, us, they we, might have still be here. Yeah, but that the, you know, that's, that's hindsight for you. Mm. Um, I think that the fact was we were in a way acting as a tribute, and I still feel. Uh, I want this band to be back again. I want us to tour again. I want us to play big places. That's the kind of guy I am. Mm. I know rock and roll wasn't made for stadiums, and I don't want to play stadiums, but I don't want to play clubs and theatres the rest of my life. No. You know, I played the O2 with Mop last year, and uh, it's not a rock and roll venue. I mean, it's the well, same. What, what's, what's between clubs and theatres then? Clubs and theatres, I think we've probably done every club and every theatre on here and no, you're, you're saying on, if you want, We've if you played them. If Let's get ourselves back to a good place where we can play a show. Right Pretenders where? have never done a show. Where would you consider? We've had lights and sound and that's it. Huh? Where would you consider? You do arenas. You do arenas, but you make it feel intimate yeah. and you put on a show. That's where we should be and that's what we're going to be doing. Good. Well, that's, that's and if, if if we go play in clubs, and I don't mind clubs. Rock and roll is supposed to be played in a sweaty dive, yeah, okay. and it's dirty, and it's messy, and the bands started a fight. That's rock and roll. Mm. What you got today is homogenized bank music. Listen to it at the at, at Tesco's for Christ's sake. Mm. You know, it's got nothing to do with what I love and what Chrissy loves, and that's plenty of that. She's actually, go, Chrissy's actually going out now solo. Yeah. But still using the name Pretenders. In the advertising, she's got, you see, she, I'm glad she has. I'm proud of her for doing it. It's a, it's a bit of a leap for her, but, you know, it's a pity she's done it 15 years or so too late. Because with a voice like Chrissy has, a great voice, and she knows how to sing, two different things. Uh, she's phenomenal, and uh, she could have sung the phone directory to the melody of I Did It Sideways. But the thing is, she has to do that. And I'm glad she's doing it now because I never liked uh, Chrissy making Pretenders albums and it's really her album. That's got to stop. We've got to make another album at some point when the time is right and it's got to be a band doing what the band thinks the song needs. And who would that band be? The band that that's on the road in America minus me. Oh, okay. Okay. Which, you know, she's got to play Pretender songs. Of course. Of course. Uh, she's got to do what she's got to do, and that will be what it's going to be, and God bless them. And James and Nick are fantastic, and, and they're doing that, and good luck to the drummer who's there. But I don't know. It's it's a difficult one, that. But yeah. I don't mind. I'm behind her 100%. Always have been, always will be. Mm. It's my job, team player. Team. Together, everyone achieves more. Right? Chrissy was never a team player. <laughs> never liked sports, you know. But I love her. I mean, I just, I love what she comes out with sometimes. Her lyrics are fabulous. She's one of the funniest people I've ever met. True. Well, there's a lot of people to thank. I'd like to thank uh, Mick Green. Mick Green was, um, was a, is still a great guitar player. He's been playing over, over 40 years with a band called The Pirates. And uh, he helped us out. At a very difficult time when uh, we were looking for somebody to do the impossible, step into the shoes of somebody like James Honeyman Scott. Well, we managed to continue, and I'd like to thank a lot more people, especially the drummers who sat in my seat, kept it warm. Thank you very much. Back well, on. Martin was playing crap for a while, and I, I had to stay true to the music, so I'd like to thank uh, Blair Cunningham for filling in for a few years. Good. Uh, Martin could be excused for being um, part of this Sonny and Cher show. Uh huh. Uh, Back away from the drummer. And to Robbie McIntosh yeah. and uh, Malcolm Foster. Yes, certainly. Another great lineup of ours Bernie Worrell, T.M. Stevens. Yeah. There's a lot of people to thank, and uh, <laughs> get on with it. 
Okay, we're going to play some uh, some songs. I'd like to thank uh, I'd like to thank Andy Hobson and Adam Seymour for playing for the last 15 years and uh, making my life uh, more fun than it really should be. And uh, I'd like to thank Chrissy especially for making my life really interesting. <laughs> thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.